Okay, it's Saturday morning, December 21st. Um, today, it's finally getting warm enough to feel like doing stuff. It's been in the single digits lately. It's like about 20 right now. Um, but what I'm doing today is uh, the power company came through and they just hacked out all the brush and any trees that they thought might be um, leaning towards their power lines or threatening the power lines in any way, they were cutting them down. Well, this whole line here, all these trees you can see, almost every single one of them is a catulpa tree. And uh, this is the only place on the farm that we have them. And I don't know of any other of the neighbors that even have them. And uh, everybody who knows this house or this driveway knows it because of the trees on both sides. Um, but they were cutting, they cut about three or four of them down. And uh, I told them if they're cutting them down that they, should, they need to leave them in longer lengths so that I can at least mill them and get something out of them um, since they're such kind of a, a landmark type of tree. Um, so there's one behind the camera. I think there's two or three this way. Um, they are, most of them are kind of hollow, but there are some usable spots. So I'm going to see what I can get out of them. So what I'm going to do today is separate the junk firewood from the usable mill wood. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm going to get a, the tractor out and try to get the milling logs in a pile. That way I can deal with the firewood. And just get them completely separated and put in their own piles. And I'll show you after, after this. I think the first thing I'm going to do though is there's a pine tree in the yard and it was in the power line, so they were going to cut it up, and I told them, uh, if you're going to be messing with it, you can just drop it right on the yard, I'll take care of it. They didn't listen to me. They just cut this big, giant L out of it and left it looking extremely stupid, so I'm going to take the rest of the branches off of the power line side and then drop that tree, but uh, I don't know when I'm going to drop it. I don't know if I'll get... The drive today to drop it or not, but I'm gonna at least clean off those branches around the power lines, um, and I'll get you guys a shot of that. Okay, and there's the pine tree. So I'm gonna have to cut down uh, that stuff, that side right here, so that I have all the weight away from the power lines. And if it falls, it doesn't like lift up and pull the lines down with it. It clears the power lines for sure, it's just like a phone line, like the lower phone line, but I don't feel like ripping that down either. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to get a ladder to get me into the tree, and then clear that side of the branches off. And we'll debate about cutting the whole thing down today, we'll see. So, I'm going to go back to the truck and drive over here and get started.
right, here's half the reason I wanted this tree down. Um, I already cut one down uh, right up near the uh, front porch uh, for the same reason. Um, this tree and the tree I cut down and one of the other trees I had previously cut down, we had a storm come by and uh, break the trees in half. Two of them landed on the uh, roof. Uh, whoever fixed the roof didn't fix any of the framing, they just shingled over it. So whenever I got into here, I uh, fixed all the framing, got a tin roof on it, got all the trees cut out of here. But since this tree broke off right here, it was had all these open ends here, and it's been raining and snowing and freezing and rotting it out. So what that does is it travels down, rots it out further, and it starts shedding more limbs, starts breaking lower down. But uh, as you can see, that's how rotten this piece was. So uh, over here, actually by the porch, the uh, renters had uh, a car parked under that tree and uh, the limbs on that thing were probably 16 inches wide. And uh, it just it just hit the vehicle, but luckily it was like the, the soft bristly part and not the limb itself. Um, so I don't want this stuff anywhere near the house, especially the power lines right above me because that'd be an annoying inconvenience. So. Uh, that's why I hate all these pine trees around here because they all got snapped in half during a, like a, a little tornado. Um, so the more of these things I get out of here, the the safer the house is. So uh, this this one here I've been wanting down for a while, but I've been kind of scared to get near the uh, near the electric um, since they already did half the work for me. It's a lot safer. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. I've got it bucked into three sections. First one's 12 foot, the other one's eight or nine foot, and then the last one I just, whatever it is, it's probably 10 or 12. So uh, I'm gonna get these things drug out of here and then go do the firewood. My ADD brain doesn't allow me to stick to a plan, so instead of just doing firewood, I cut another tree down and made more work. So I'm gonna get to that. It's probably about lunchtime. Uh, sun's up, it's feeling great, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to work.